Welcome to GLABS, your 50 rep fun factory glutes and abs workout. We're doing 12 exercises. They're broken into groups of four. So the first group is all glutes. The second group is all abs. And then you've got a little combination of the two just to make sure you're in excruciating pain. So the first block, well, the first four exercises are all with a booty band. So we're doing a banded squat walk for the first exercise. So pop the band close to the knees. You sit down into a squat and you're doing 50 steps. So you'll do 25 on each leg and you pulse down into it. You can walk forwards and backwards. So you don't have to just find a big stretch of ground. So you can take 50 steps. Just make sure that you've got tension on the band the whole time, chest is forward, shoulder blades are back, and you're staying relatively low. Then we move on to our monster walks. So pop the band a little lower down the shins, sit down into the hips, roll out onto the outsides of your feet a little bit so we've got tension on the band, and then taking nice big steps, making sure that your feet aren't coming too close together when you step in. You've got 50 reps here, 25 to each side. Again, chest is proud, belly button pulled in, shoulders are rolled back. Then we go on to our donkey kicks. So for this one, I put the band over my kneecaps so that I can kneel on top of it so it doesn't slip. Go into a four point kneeling position. Then to make sure you aren't shifting your weight into one hip, take one hand off the ground, pop it in the small of your back and then start doing the movement. It's 25 on each side, 50 total. Keep 90 degrees through your leg and the movement comes from your hip. So don't straighten out at the top. Flex the foot and you're pressing the sole of your foot up to the sky. And then the last one we're doing with a band is a wide bridge. So pop onto your back. Relax the shoulders. You want your feet about the width of your mat. Again, making sure your knees don't roll in so you've got the tension on the band. And then bridging up, squeezing the glutes nice and tight. Belly button pulled down into your spine. Relaxing through the upper body, keeping your knees pushed out nice and far so that you aren't rolling in. You've got 50 reps here. Then that's the banded portion done. Now we go on to four ab exercises. The first one are infinities with a dumbbell if you've got one, otherwise you don't need one, it's not necessary. So you're gonna lean back slightly, sitting up on top of your bum. Lift your legs up off the ground, this is the hardest version. And you take the dumbbell between the legs and underneath for 50 reps. If you don't have a dumbbell, you're just tapping your hands underneath your legs, so a little bit of a lift, and then a slightly easier version. It's the same setup, feet stay on the ground, and then you lift and replace your leg, so you don't ever have your both legs off the ground at the same time. So 50 reps total there. Then we go on to heel taps, so that's a curl through the upper body, shoulder blades off the ground, extend the hands, and then reaching to tap your heels. Sliding from side to side, keep a gap between your chin and your chest. And then if you wanna support your neck, come up into the curl position and then mimic just without your arms outstretched. Or if you want to, you can alternate. So there's one hand behind your head the whole time. Our third ab exercise here, a plank with a single arm reach. So knees or toes and then Squeeze the glutes nice and tight, and you're lifting one arm and reaching it forward slightly, trying to keep your hips still. It's easier to take your feet slightly wider so you can control the movement through your hips. And you're doing 25 on each side. If you're on your knees, it's the exact same thing. And then the last ab exercise in this block, you've got your plank toe taps, so same starting position and then tapping your feet just a little wider than your mat. Keep your bum level and again if you're on your knees you just straighten out your leg as you reach to tap from side to side. Then we go on to the last four exercises. So we're doing a squat pulse. You can add a band to this as well if you want to 
but in your normal squatting position, you want to be down the bottom inch of the squat and you're pushing through your heels, chest is proud, shoulders back, hands in front of the chest and you've got 50 pulses here. Then we move on to the ab exercise. We're doing a butterfly crunch. So feet together, knees wide. This just makes sure you can't use your hips as you do the movement. Hands behind the head, elbows are wide away from your body. Gap between your chin and your chest. And then you're curling up, pulling your belly button into your spine and making it nice and controlled. You shouldn't be pulling on your neck, you should keep that gap between your chin and your chest the whole time. You can add a little pause at the top to make it a little harder. Once you've done that, have got two more exercises. We're doing fire hydrants, so adding your band back in here. Pop it around the knees like we did for donkey kicks. Same setup, four point kneeling position, one hand into the small of the back or just hovering off the mat and the other leg opens out to the side at 90 degrees. So you want to make sure that the movement comes from the hip so you aren't twisting through your knee or ankle and it should be nice and controlled. You should be able to control it on the way back in. If you can't, the band might be a little too heavy. And then we have our last exercise, which are Russian twists. Add a weight if you've got one, otherwise body weight is fine. Similar setup to the infinities and you're twisting through the upper body, keeping your eyes on the weight or your eyes on your hand and reaching down past your hip. So you're not just dropping the weight either side you're rotating through your upper body completely. And again, you can have your feet on the ground for this one as well to make it slightly easier. And that's it. That's your glutes and abs. Have a glab time.